We're gonna talk about absolute values, okay? Absolute values or absolute value signs are essentially two straight up and down lines, okay? Um, it's not similar to anything in math. Like if you think about like, okay, here you got a plus sign. Take away the vertical one, that's a negative, it's a minus, ha <laughs> ha. This is like taking away the negative. And guess what? That's exactly what absolute values do. Man, I just made that up. Pretty sure I just made that. I don't think anybody's ever said it. I've never heard it. So if anybody else has said that before, then I came about it independently, no copyright infringement. So you got a plus sign. If you take away the negative, it's an absolute value sign. That's what you do with absolute values. They take away the negative. Remember that, folks. Okay, so essentially what that means is if you have um, like a negative 50, and you cover it with absolute values. What the absolute value signs do, it destroys that negative. So the absolute value of negative 50 is positive 50, okay? Now you're thinking, oh, well Tyler, I have a question. What if it's like a positive seven? Does that become a negative seven? Because are we switching things around? No, all it does is keep it a positive. Absolute values, are like, um, it's like putting things through a rainbow. Like it, everything comes out sunny and positive and happy. All right, so it's like, it's like uh, Starbucks Frappuccinos. No matter who drinks it, it's gonna make them happy and positive. That's not as good as the thing I said earlier. Go back to that. Okay, so let's work a few example problems um, and then you'll understand it and never forget it. Okay, so we got absolute value eight minus nine. All right, the absolute value signs work almost like parentheses. You know, when you have something in parentheses, you like work all of it out and then you break it down and then you do whatever you need to outside the parentheses. It's kind of like that when you're working it and then the absolute values kick in, okay? So we're gonna work the problem like we would a regular problem. Eight minus nine is negative one. Absolute values are still there. Now, what do absolute values do? They destroy negatives. So that negative is gone. It becomes a positive one. And then in the process, it destroys itself. It's like every good guy at the end of a sad movie, okay? Just destroys, it's like Armageddon. And the, the absolute values are Ben Affleck, and the negative is the asteroid. So, and then it's just Liv Tyler hanging out. And Bruce Willis, he lived. No, wait. Other way around. Bruce Willis was the dude on that. I ain't seen Armageddon in like 20 years, so bear with me. Bruce Willis is the absolute values. Doesn't matter. You haven't seen that movie at all. Okay, so let's do this one. Again, they work like parentheses, so we're just going to work this first. Negative 2 minus 3 means I got negative 2. I'm going to make it a bigger negative, so it's negative 5. Absolute values are there. Absolute values, they're going to destroy that negative and in the process destroy themselves. We have a positive 5. All right, and then right here, we got the same thing. I'm just going to work the problem first, but I'm not going to forget about it. looks like a, like a, what is this, a, a TIE fighter from Star Wars? <laughs> you may have seen that movie. So negative 8 minus negative 10. Minus a negative. Remember I said in my last video, you minus a negative, it becomes a positive. So we got negative 8 plus 10. Absolute values are still there. We're still just working this, negative eight plus 10. Um, the 10 is positive, it's bigger, so the eight's not gonna be able to like dig all the way down, so it's like digging an eight foot uh, hole and then filling up 10 feet worth of dirt, you're gonna be two in the positive. It's positive two, and then we know, because I told you earlier, absolute values of a positive number is gonna remain a positive number. Whew! We just got our learn on, ladies and gentlemen. Got our learn on. Hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, Shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. Wait, click that. Anyways, I'll wait.